Good afternoon, I am Chuck Vanderstelt. I'm a real estate agent here in Northwest Indiana, working for Listing Leaders, where we're changing real estate forever. And I'm the owner of a website named quadwalls.com. We just launched it this week. Go ahead and check that out. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about this afternoon was a blog article that I put together recently, the six reasons why you should not wait and sell your home this winter. I know a lot of people think they don't want to sell their home in the winter. They don't want to deal with that one day of moving or going out and looking for homes in the winter because once you sell your home, you're going to have to live somewhere. But I really want to let you know the opportunities you could be missing out on by waiting until the spring. So let's talk about the six reasons why you should sell your home this winter and not wait. Uh, number one. 40% of all homes in Northwest Indiana sell in the cold six months. So between October 1st and March 31st, that's when about 40% of the homes sell. So for all those people out there who think everything dies in the winter, nothing happens, they are completely wrong. I got on the MLS and did some research of my own looking around in Northwest Indiana, and that's what I found. So we've got 40% of the homes selling between October 1 and March 31. Reason number two kind of relates to reason number one. Well, why does that happen? Why are there still so many people buying and selling homes in the winter? Life events drive home sales. Um, births, marriages, engagements, job promotions, divorces, deaths, all those major life events that, that occur in each of our lives, um, those are the things that drive the housing market. It really is. Those things know no calendar. Uh, the person or the, the person who graduated college and started a job uh, over the summers, maybe now saved enough money, he or she's ready to buy a home. Or that family who just had their third child in September is saying, we need a bigger place they're ready to buy that home. So those life events are going on 365 days a year. They know no calendar. So that's why there's people out there in the winter looking for a home. Um, buyers at this time of year are more serious. So just as much as maybe you're not looking forward to moving in the winter, think about the people out there buying a home. Some life event is going on that's pushing them to go out. We know the wind has gotten colder. The day has gotten shorter thanks to daylight savings time. Soon we're going to be walking through snow drifts to get inside a house. Well, buyers who are willing to come out in those types of circumstances, something is going on in their life where they need to make decisions. They're not bored on a Saturday afternoon and think, let's just go see some homes. They're taking it seriously and they will make decisions. And one of those decisions could be buying your house. Um, the next reason is less competition. So sadly, I know a lot of people will not listen to the advice in this video. And this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of those people. If you wait till the spring or the summer to list your home because you believe in the myth that that's just the absolute best time or you just want to move when the weather is a little bit better, you could really miss some opportunity. In the winter time, there's less homes on the market. So all those buyers out there who are shopping have less choices. Less choices for those buyers means the people selling their home during the winter are more likely to see their home sell in a predictable amount of time. And there's a good chance they're gonna get a better price for their home because there's just less, op less options. For you as a home seller, this gives you a much easier opportunity to stand out in the crowd because there's just not as many homes for sale in that crowd. Uh, another thing is transactions can go even smoother. We work with some pretty strong partners. We know some great title companies. We know some great lenders. Um, but with everyone, because the volume is a little bit lower in the winter, again, 40% of the homes are selling in that time. Um, with 40% of the homes selling in that period of time, volume's lower, so files can get through much faster. Appraisals can happen more quickly. Lenders have less on their plate, so they can get that file done more quickly. So you could see that time frame to get the home closed shorten up 
by uh, probably several days, maybe even a week, where transactions are closing in about 28 days or so. Lastly, uh, happy. When I think of the end of the year, I think of all those fun holidays and family gatherings that people have. I think about reflecting back on everything good that happened in the year that we're finishing up, and I look forward to everything that's going on in the year coming. Oftentimes, too, a lot of people are meeting with lots of friends and family, and we're seeing all the things our friends and family are doing, and maybe that makes us want to do something. Also, lots of people maybe get job promotions or bonuses this time of year. So you've got a lot of happy people walking around who are just maybe having some really good things go on in their life. And that could put them in the mood to make a major purchase. That could put them in the financial position to make that major purchase. And that could put them around the people in their sphere of influence to make that next step in life, whether that's buying their first home or trading up you know, maybe selling their first home and trading up to buying a home that might be something like what you have. And those are my six reasons why it's best to uh, not just wait, not just phone it in and say, I'll wait till spring or summer to sell my home, but to strongly consider selling your home this winter. Again, my name is Chuck Vanderstel. I'm a real estate agent with Listing Leaders. And you can go to quadwalls.com. You can learn a little bit more about the home selling and buying process.